Yo, it's your boy Zico. Pulled up to the locker room, about to head into the weight room and enjoy the tour. This is Arkansas State's weight room. Come on in. We usually do uh, like exercises where our feet will be on the yoga ball and we'll be in like a push up position and it will like stabilize your core and all that stuff. We will also do stuff where the yoga ball is against the wall and let's say we're here and you basically. So you're keeping your core straight, but you're pushing in, and you pretty much go as hard as you can. So, next, we have hip extension. We do the weighted, we do the bands around our necks. Uh, there's really those variations we do with this. We do it sometimes single leg. Uh, we even do core on this, where it's kind of like a side plank, as in we uh, sideways, we have a plate, and we push bring it back in and really we use these for every type of it. Alright, so now come through here. We have all the racks on both sides. Uh, I don't even know, I'm not sure how many there are but or well, at least for football lifts we usually do upper body kind of on these sides and when we use uh, dumbbells we usually use those benches on the left hand side. These are new addition which Pretty much every uh, position we've been using. That's not the big one, let's look at this one. Um, and it's pretty much for like, the hand violence. So we're doing a lot of drills where it will be influenced into our lifts. So let's say we're doing an explosive bench, we'll maybe come here and do a set of maybe five explosive punches. And it's pretty much firing and like extending your hips. And these actually push through. So like that. So when you punch it with enough force, like so, it goes back and in. Uh, so if you come down here, you see we have loads of TVs all around the walls. And these TVs, as you guys may know, or if you guys are new to the channel, they post our personal records, who's at the top of the leaderboards for pretty much everything we do in here is competition against one another compete, don't compare, and you just want to try to beat your own personal record as well as other people's. So it is a bit like, you know, it gives a bit of fuel to the fire. Alright, whoosh. So back to the 125 challenge real quick. When they call it, I'm in route. For them niggas, they bend down. Blow a bet when I'm in town. Alright, so back to it. Let's go. Alright, so, oh, as you see on each one, there's chains. These are used like, we we'll put them on our bench press, we we'll put them on our squats, we we'll put them on our body when we're doing like body weight stuff. So if we're doing pull ups, look. So if we're doing pull ups, put it around here. And then, let's say we'd have obviously how many reps the coach has given us, and then we just. No. Alright, so these are our lift cards. Um, we have QBs, Specialist Titans, O line, DBs, linebackers, D line, wide receivers, and running backs. For the most part, a lot of our lifts are the same, but. There are a few differences, mainly just to suit like what certain positions are more likely to replicate like on the field. So. Alright, so now we have a special piece of equipment and we have I don't know how many but quite a few of them. These are the golf scores. Alright, so these are really alright, so there's no weight on them, so you guys can't find them. So really you just hook yourself up. You step on and you pull this back, and really you can perform squats. You can perform. We do a lot of uh, box squats, so box squat, and we sometimes do pauses on the box squat. Uh, a lot of times we will do it without hands, 
obviously I haven't got a person to hold this so I can't do that right now. Um, I have also seen people do uh, RDLs and stuff, going low. Um, I have also seen people do lunges. So really, it's a great piece of equipment. There's so many variations that you can do with the machine. Uh, so it really is a good purchase. And if you've not realized that it doesn't uh, add any weight onto my spine necessarily, which maybe a regular squat would do. So yeah, we've got more of those along here. Some more mirrors. Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I like working out in front of this mirror. Yeah, you can see it's because I want to look at myself. But I don't know, it gives me a little, a little edge, a little boost when I'm looking at myself, you know, just focused in. Here we have the boxes. So we just have, usually they're laid out just around here. And we do sticks, uh, we'll do repetitive stuff, really a lot of plyometrics with these, and they're really useful. Now, we have the hammer strap rolls. At Wush. So here we have the hammer strap roll. So pretty self explanatory. Um, I think what we do a great job is that every type of movement can be done like six different types of ways. So for example, with these, we can do single arm whilst holding, making sure you're not rotating or anything, saying, you know, like locked in. You can do two arms, you can do eccentric going down, you can do slow concentric, you can do isometric holds. And really, I think that's what is just great. You know, you can play around with different uh, exercises. And this is the hand strength roll. There's not enough place on me. Uh, there's not enough plates on here for me to do it to show you guys because I'm not going to bother with the little amount of this, you know? Alright, now, we'll leave those to later because those, as, as, no, 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 that. Those are finishes. Those, those are different types, different breed. Alright, so, we have three Kai's machines. Kai's machines, alright, if you're coming closer, so, right now, resistance is off. Uh, we usually do anywhere from about 200 pounds to 400 pounds, uh, depending on what the movement is. Sometimes we'll do lunges with it, we'll do regular squats with it, and it measures your peak power. So that's a clear indication of how explosive are you. So really, it's great for competing. Uh, it is crazy tiring when you have a lot of reps at quite a high weight. Um, but the machine is amazing. It's a new addition to our weight room. All right, come over here, man. This is like, this is like, how do I say? So you got your yogurts in there, your apple sauces, your foods, your snacks, you got your protein shakes. Here we've got protein with water, protein, chocolate protein with milk, and vanilla protein with milk. This one is honestly the best one in my opinion. This one is second. Okay, this one is, let's say you don't want as much calories, then you'll get this one instead of these two. But these two, I even used to mix these two together and they used to slap. And if you just look around, we've got the blenders to make everything. Uh, post practice, the weight gain guys will have a shake and we'll down it right after our practice or after lifts. In there we have more supplies like body armors, power aids, just loads of different snacks, oatmeal, loads of different stuff. Like on the wall you can see uh, different type of plans that are cafeteria served on this one as well. That is really kind of an indication of what to get with each meal. So we talk about going free for free, breakfast, lunch and dinner and having a protein, carb and veggie with each one. And on this wall which you looked at was the snacks you can have and that's about going six for six, Central C. Um, and that's just about the snacks you can have in between that will provide you with your protein and really fill you up for the day. Now, to finish off, we have the bike. This bike, no job, no play play. So the bike is usually what we use for conditioning uh, when we don't go out on the field in condition. And with the bike, we either do for a certain amount of calories, we do for a certain amount of distance, or for 
what's the calorie intake. So th those are pretty, too, pretty much the main two that we do. And let's just say it really takes out of you. You can't necessarily pace yourself on this bike because we all have kind of target times. And as we say, everything is a competition, so you want to beat the next man to you. So if you hear he's doing 10 seconds, you don't want to kind of pace yourself and get the same like distance done in 15 seconds. You want to beat the partner next to you. Um, so really, that's all you can do. Just go all out, smash it. Try to get your speed, because the speed is pretty much in relation to the calories and the distance. So if you can get your speed into those 40s, as soon as possible, then the time just chops down real quick from there. And really, that is Arkansas State's weight room. As you see on the wall, we have a few different uh, words written across. I want to even realize that says relentless effort, toughness, love, and ownership. And those are just a few things that we preach here at Arkansas State. Ooh, what are we talking about? So, this is the belt. So, as I've said, we track PRs, we track everything, and anytime you beat a PR, you hear a ring the bell. Alright, you ring the bell, everyone in the weight room knows you've just smashed your PR, and it just brings the juice, everyone gets even more hype because they want to bring the bell now and it's just like kind of a roll on effect. So if you ring that bell, if you'll hear that bell ringing, just know someone's just smashed the PR. So we use these for RFE uh, split squats and we usually do about three to six reps or as of this week, we've been doing three reps. Uh, we'll have some weight in our hands. Let me grab some weight. We'll go much, we'll go much heavier. That one was not trying to move. We'll go much heavier than these, as, <laughs> as I was saying. Uh, but you pretty much just align, they like our ankles, knee and hip to all be in line. You put your foot up, if you want it to go down, tap the knee and come back up. I haven't realized we have uh, different colored bands all across the weight room. So these bands, for example, we use maybe when we're bench pressing, we'll do some band pull aparts. Uh, we just use the bands really for activation or really if we're doing like an arms burnout we use those for example triceps um, trx rows now we actually use these quite often uh, the difficulty really depends on you and how far down we're trying to go so we could simply go here and we could do uh, our rows or down to the red bar and do a roll. Uh, we also do Y's, which is we're doing it with uh, our shoulders, so Y. Uh, we have T and we have L's. And it really works like all around the delts, you know, your shoulders, your traps, all that stuff. And yeah, TRS will get you right. We'll have these. Uh, I personally like to use these for arms, throw on some plates on the side and do some curls with them. But these can also be used for bench. As you can see, there's different uh, types of grips. I'm not stroking that again. Uh, but yeah, these are really useful as well. well yeah. uh, let's have time to throw. Alright, so I didn't actually cover it before, but you can do different grips with these as well. Uh, you can put your feet in different places, here, here, stand up. Um, you can grip it like this, this or this. Personally, I prefer this grip because, I don't know, I feel like it's just the easiest. Oh, the hardest one, which I'm not even going to attempt because I'm not trying to embarrass myself. But hardest one is this one, which is just crazy because you're pretty much here. Like, it's just engaged in a crazy amount of muscles. And so for core, we do a lot of stuff with this for core. Uh, we do exercises where we lay on the floor, for example, 
our feet will be on it and we'll let's say tuck our knees, roll out, tuck our knees. Or we'll do exercises where we're on our knees and we roll out. So we'll show you that. On our knees and we roll out using this. And you want to keep your back tight. And we'll just do a number of repetitions. Um, we also have rollouts. You put your forearms on here. You stay here. And you work your core. So there's really loads of different uh, exercises we do for core. There's just one of them. Kaiser machine. So, Kaiser. Really. So look, this weight currently is at 582. You can drop it, and as you hear, the pressure is dropping as well. I'm not about to do 400 pounds for you guys. Am I going to do 300? No, I'm not, so let's drop it again. Okay, then, just take our time. Okay, 150. 150, so we go up underneath, we dig, and look, so if you come in, it gives you your power, it tells me how many repetitions I've done, and let's say I go a tiny bit faster, so if I went down and then shot up, it will tell me my power again, and pretty much you just want to get that as high as possible whilst keeping a good rep. And as you saw before, we have RFP. Occasionally, put that behind us, plant our foot, do a lunge, and then come back up. And the Kaiser is usually paired with an explosive movement. That could be our vertical jumps. We have vertical jump mats, and I'm not sure how exactly it calculates it, but it calculates your vertical jump. We do those either with some weights, anywhere from 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, uh, to weightless where we just jump and show off our bunnies. So yeah, I've shown you guys each type of equipment in Arkansas State's weight room. That was a tour. I'm Zico, there's a fly on me, and I'm out.